Hey guys, happy Monday. It's your Monday marketing moments or your marketing moments. I'm trying to get Connie to pop on here so that she can be here with me so we can do our Monday marketing moment together. Even though we're not in the same place, we can still be together and give you guys some great information. So hopefully she's going to pop on here any second now. Sorry for the couple lives that we've had to do. Just wanting to get her on here so that she can... Um, Give you some great information as well looks like we have four viewers um guys i'm sorry we're trying to figure out how to add connie to the live so that we can do this together so so sorry for all the lives but hopefully that means that we'll get more people to watch it hey wanda trying to get connie on here let's see all right connie if you can see me go ahead and comment i think i can add you that way if you comment let's see here Good morning, Wanda. How are you? Let's see. Yeah, it's not letting Connie come on. Sad face. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys. Connie Dream wants to be in your live video. Here we go. Approve. Let's see, Connie. I think we did it this time. So this is you. Yay! We did hey, it. Hey, Yes. <laughs> It just took a couple times for us to do it, and my face is really close to the camera. <laughs> Got it. Look at it. All us. Oh, hey, Connie. So, uh, already announced that we're doing our Monday marketing moment, and it's going to be all about reviews. So, did you want to kick all it off real quick? Yeah. Um, we've been doing, well, I've been doing customer satisfaction reviews for a very, very long time. And we seem to, we haven't been really playing that up lately. And I think we're losing some marketing value. Uh, and, and the reason why is my experience, I've, had, I've done this for a very long time, customer service reviews can be some of the greatest referral tools that you can use as an agent. Uh, formerly in another company that we had that was Coal Banker, we had our own in-house system of sending out surveys. We used high touch methods. We got over a 30% return rate each year on our surveys because of this. But now our surveys are automated. Uh, they're being sent out by the corporate offices. Your managers do have access to your surveys and your customer comments. But I'm not sure all of you are, are asking, or maybe you're not getting them, so ask your manager for them. But when you do get them, there are some wonderful things that we can do. And there are some things that you can do on your side that Brittany's going to talk about, where you can capture customer comments on your own without having to wait on the company. So as I always say, don't wait on the company when you can get out there in front of something and start enjoying the benefits of it. And um, customer reviews are one of those. So, so Brittany, you want to kind of jump in and tell them how they can garner some customer reviews starting today? Absolutely. That's wonderful information, Connie. And I know that especially one manager, I see all the time posting the results of reviews on their private Facebook. And I know that the agents enjoy seeing that. So that's awesome. Um, we know that Zillow is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. So I wanted to give you some information on how you can take some of your reviews from Zillow, add them to your website on InTouch. So when you get a Zillow review, there's a couple things you can do with it. Number one, I would always copy and paste it into a Word document so you keep all your reviews just in case Zillow was to decide to take down your website tomorrow. You don't want to lose all those amazing reviews that your customer has given you. So go ahead and copy and paste all those onto a Word document. Once you have that Word document, you can actually paste it onto your InTouch website. So the first process of how to get it onto your InTouch website, you're going to have to go and edit your website edit your home page and turn on that search widget. What I mean is you're gonna to have to add a widget at the top and add customer reviews. Once you've turned that on, now we can actually add the reviews to your website that will show up on your web page. So anytime someone goes to your home page, they can see all your reviews from Zillow or anywhere else that you're grabbing them from. And Connie and I can show you how to do that on a one-on-one -on -one session, but I wanted to show you or tell you that you were capabilities that we have to putting it on your InTouch website. Another thing you can do is you can actually link them directly to your website in the about me section. There is a recommend me button with a little smiley face. So if you don't want to send all your customers to Zillow to write reviews, you can always send them to your website and they can write their review directly there. 
But if you have a ton of Zillow reviews, because I know you guys are seasoned agents and you probably do, you do want to leverage those. So we'll have to copy and paste and put this on your website. Another thing you can do is you can actually go into BrandServe and we have templates already made for you for client reviews or CD mm -hmm. good news. There's a ton of different ones you can kind of play with. You could post your review and post it on social media. I have seen a lot of agents create their own templates for reviews like Zillow reviews or just reviews in general. If you don't like the brand serve templates, you could use a program called Canva, create your own, make sure it's compliant to our guidelines, but that's a way to do it as well. You can also copy and paste your reviews into emails. So at the bottom of your email, maybe you have a really stellar review in your signature. You can write this either this client thinks this of me and have your review there. You can link your reviews. So if you still want to link people to your Zillow reviews, you can put that in your email signature or you could do your website as well. But Connie has another great idea mm -hmm. which involves Moxie. Yes. Um, if any of you are using your Moxie presentation, which I really hope all of you are because it's an amazing tool. If you will go into Moxie and then go to the upper right hand corner where you see your profile photo and just simply click on that and go to my account, that will take you to a screen which on the left hand side has agent tools and one of those agent tools says integrated tools. When you click on that, it pops up the Zillow review panel. And all you have to do is click activate. And when you activate it, which I'm doing right now on mine, a box will come up asking you to verify the uh, email address associated with your Zillow account. Now, obviously most of you should have a Zillow account, but you'll need that email address when you first signed up on Zillow, that Zillow is corresponding with you, whether that's your Florida Moves account or a, a Gmail account or whatever, account you have when you signed up with Zillow. You make sure that that's in the box and then you just click on save and you'll notice up in the upper right hand corner, the little check mark, the green check mark will go live. And as soon as that happens, that means anytime you go in to do a Moxie presentation, whether it's a buyer or a seller presentation or any other type of presentation, the about me page, the uh, profile page on that profile page, your Zillow reviews will automatically flow in. You don't have to do anything. They will automatically flow in. Now, here's something to remember. If there's a bit of a hiccup and you get a review that's not so favorable as if you're doing business on a regular basis, you will get a... Connie, we lost you. Can't hear you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Now we can hear you. Sorry, we lost you there for a second. You can hear me. But what I was saying, sometimes you may get an unfavorable um, review. So you can go in and you can turn off, like with Moxie, you can just go in and turn off that Zillow review, okay? On any of our tools, you can just go in and turn it off. On your website, if you need some help with that, let Brittany or I know. We'll show you how we can go in and quickly edit the website to take those reviews down. Um, that's just up to you. Some agents let them ride, but some, some of these uh, reviews can be a little skewed sometimes, but we want to show you in the best light possible. Um, and, you know, good and bad surveys are part of doing business, but just remember, if you do run into some trouble or you think something's not fair or you want us to help you take a look at it and better assess it, Brittany and I are here to help you. But we want to make sure you know that you have a place to show how well you're doing, how well your customers um, respect the work that you've done for them. So we've got platforms for you to put your reviews. That's awesome. Yep. And we just want to make sure that you know that you can leverage your reviews, how to leverage them. There's tons of ways. We have great ideas. Love to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and um, add them to your sing signature line, add them to your InTouch website, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways that Connie and I can help you. But um, today, this week, I challenge each and every one of you to post a review from a past client, whether that be on your website or on social media or in an email. Um, we'd love to see what you guys do with our information and we're here if you need any help at all. Brittany, real quick, where would they go on BrandServe? When they get to BrandServe, what would they put in to search one of these sleeves that they can use? 
Yeah, so you can search at the top right hand corner of brand serve, client review, CB good news, client testimonial. Um, you can also go up to the tab where it says marketing and hit social media and kind of funnel through and look at the different ones. Um, there's a couple different ones that will work that maybe aren't considered client testimonial, right? You could do a CB good news. Um, but yeah, if, if that doesn't work for you, like I said, you could always go and um, create something in Canva um, or just post it onto your Facebook with the picture. Uh, make sure you have the rights to the picture though as well. So now if your mind is totally boggled at this point, uh, get with your manager and Brittany and I will come and do a, uh, some sessions at your office. Maybe we can come to your weekly sales meeting, uh, do some just one-on-one -on -one sessions with your office if you like, or we can do just some one-on-one -on -one sessions. So uh, don't leave today and not take any action. But if you do need our help, we're here for you. Yep. My challenge to you is put a review up today and we're excited. Connie and I will like and comment on it. That's it. All right. Thanks guys for joining our live. Thanks, Connie. Sorry for the trouble in the beginning. Thanks for holding tight with me, everybody, and being patient as we uh, do this virtually um, sometimes when we're not able to be together on Monday. So thanks guys. Thank you. Bye-bye all.